118 of the Mailworks Chainmail live streams. My name is Sean and I run Mailworks.com where I design and sell chainmail themed apparel and accessories. I also make chainmail and uh, I happen to think it's the greatest hobby on earth. Why is my phone making noise? Don't do that. Let's do, let's do the share. All right. Um, in mail. All right. Out of that, close all. Okay. All right, so tonight we're gonna kind of ease back into this. I've got this project going on. I have, I think it's an 18 inch hoop. Hang on, let me turn the music down on my end. That's better. What is going on over here? Everything I need is going on over there. That's what's going on. All right. So we've got we've got a 18-inch uh, hoop. I think it's like mild steel, something or other. Um, we're gonna take this full Persian chain and make ideally. Let me grab this hoop real quick. Oh. So ideally, how big is this thing? I have measuring utensils. Not, not quite. Hi, cat. Hey, Justin, how you doing? All right, so I've got this, got this hoop. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do like some box chain or some round mail around the edge. And then we're gonna take this chain and do some kind of knot work inside the hoop. So the first thing I have to do is make the chain. I'm gonna take Gonna take a lot of full Persian chain. Um, but you know, it's one of those projects where I don't have to think much about doing it, and I can sit here and chat, and we can have ourselves a grand old time. So it's the idea is that it's all going to be. one single chain, right? Is it dream catcher time? I don't know if you call it like, I'm not gonna call it a dream catcher. I'm going to call it a piece of wall art. Um, there are certain metrics for a dream catcher that I am completely unaware of but yeah essentially it's going to be something similar artwork so hoop themed piece of art and in that what i'm making and dream catchers are similar um but i'm not going to have like feathers dangling off of it i'm not going to Claim that it catches all the bad dreams and lets the good ones go through or anything probably give you better dreams what, what, I, what I'm what I'm making will probably give you better dreams anyway because it's chain mail you know <laughs> if we're being real here so not to brag no and And then, of course, there is the ever-present. Um, 
some people get very upset when you use that term, so. Whatever it's gonna be, it's ideally going to be a piece of wall art that is a chainmail not chainmail not work themed thing. So we're just gonna work on this and we're gonna chat. And we're gonna talk about whatever is going on in your life and mine that happens to come up tonight. So how is everyone? How are you doing? It's been a hot minute since uh I was, I was on last night, but not a lot going on. So I, this is, I don't even know what ring size this is. It's like 20 gauge, 9, 30 seconds or something. If I had a decent pair of digital calipers, I would be able to tell you. But I have yet to purchase a pair. It is on my list of things to purchase. I don't know when I got these rings. I don't know when I ordered them, but they are machine cut and so they're not suitable for jewelry All right and they're they're the next size up from 20 gauge 18 that the ring lord sells i know that much right they're 20 gauge okay 20 gauge rings and if they were 20 gauge 1 8 you wouldn't be able to make full Persian out of them, right? So I know they're not 20 gauge 1 8 and I remember ordering the next size up. That was it. All these rings are like connected together. But they are clean and shiny. I think I think tumbling them made them all you know when a ring isn't closed but it's in that freshly cut position right Let's see Let's see if I can explain this okay so uh, cameras are just not up to par all right so when you get a ring off, let's say this is a ring. When it comes off the mandrel, right, the wire's wrapped around, then it goes, the coil of wire goes through, you know, whatever type of ring cutter you have, right, and the ends are not aligned with each other, right? That's how all these rings are. Except that I tumbled them all together, and so now I have, you know, like just strands of rings all halfway woven together. All right. That's going to be fun. So it looks like I'm going to have to unweave all the rings first and then weave them. That's fine. That's what it is. This is a fairly large project, so... This will, uh, this will take quite a while. I don't plan on doing a whole bunch of streams on this. This is like grab a bag of rings and then whenever I'm sitting around doing whatever, wherever, pop it out and work on it. You know, if I'm like waiting at the doctor's office or something. So, but this, where am I at here? This will get fairly cumbersome over time. 
it irritates you when that happens yeah just I just want to weave the ring anyway I wish these were all saw cut because then I could really use them for some jewelry projects I'm working on but alas they are not and they are in the pile of rings that we have to get rid of rings that we have to do something with oh, excuse me oh, excuse me Ideally, before the end of the year, I did, I, I had projected that I would be done working on excess projects down here um, by the end of the year. And of course, you know, we just missed like 10 weeks worth of work. So, maybe early next year. It doesn't matter. There's no, there's no timeline on any of these projects. I just, the faster it gets done, the sooner I can order new rings for new projects. Many of which I have had bouncing around in my head for a long time um, and haven't had the time to work on them, so I've just been waiting. You gotta be careful. So, I have not, I've not been here for about 10 weeks, right? It's due to a number of things. Um, but Monday before last, I did try to get on. I had a horrible time connecting. It seems like we're up right now. Doing streaming just fine. But, uh, I had I had my computer hardlined in through the electrical outlets. Then I added a device through the electrical outlets. And then when I went to go get back on on Monday before last, um, I could not get any uh, connection whatsoever. Like I was up. I was down, I was up, and then I was back down again, and we tried three times, and I was like, all right, screw this. I need something more concrete. So, I got a Wi-Fi extender, and it worked last night, and it's seemingly working tonight, so pretty happy about that. I don't care how the stream gets uploaded, or how we, how the stream is streamed. You know, um, I just want as much clarity for you guys, you know, I always hate it when a screen bounces in and out and I'm sure you guys do too. Oh, my shoulders tighten enough. One of the most important things. Stream is stable for you? Good. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Got to watch Rick work a little bit earlier before I was pulled away. Doing some good stuff over there at the Booga Box. Anyway, so hopefully this Wi Fi extender, extender works for a long period of time we don't have to change our connections or anything and we can just relax and make some chain mail for many more months to come without having to worry about it 
so like I can't worry about upgrading the stream if I can't even stream you know what I mean so now hopefully we have some concrete streaming connection and we can do more fun things but I hope I'm hoping we can get to uh, sooner rather than later right like new cameras better lighting I would like a green screen behind me because while I love the tapestry behind me the colors are terrible it was a bad design but I thought it was cool at the time um, I would much rather have a green screen where I can project all of my designs onto it as I stream I think that would be a lot more effective um, now if you look right above me you can see all the products over at mailworks.com and that's nice to have but I can only imagine that it's pretty small and difficult to tell that it is a chainmail design on there and so I would like something larger with all the designs I've done on it hopefully we'll get that this year working great tonight haven't seen any hiccups that's good 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 What else is going on? Yeah, good for you. I've had a long day of work today. I didn't think I was going to be streaming tonight, right? I normally get home from work about now uh, between 12:30 and 1:30, right? I go out I see my first patient between 8.30 and 9. And I drive around for about four hours seeing patients. And I come home and chart for a couple more hours. And about 7 o'clock, I was exhausted. It was like snoozing, you know? But around... Oh, I don't know, 8.30 or so, I perked up and I felt a little better. And... It's like, yeah, you know what? I will stream tonight. Just because, you know, these rings ain't gonna close themselves. Hey, Barb, how you doing? Good to see you. And then last night too, I was working. I was working with these. These are 12 gauge, 3 8 rings from chain-reaction.ca, Chain Reaction Canada, by Wally Lacroix up in Canada, right? And I'm I'm gonna admit they they may have made a man out of me. I'll tell you what, by the time I got done finishing up those seams. Um, my wrist was, my right wrist specifically was burning. So I didn't think I would be able to do anything tonight. But I wore my brace and I kind of laid off my right hand tonight. So good. Had your second shot today and have had no side effects. Good. Can I find the name of this song? This is called Manifest Labyrinth by Zircon. Zircon. Z-I-R-C-O-N. Um, I'm gonna have to check with, uh, Pretzel Rock, um, about the songs they're playing, because last night's stream got, uh, pulled, not pulled, muted by Facebook, right? Because of 
some kind of copyright infringement nonsense. And Pretzel Rock is supposed to have all kinds of agreements with artists and corporations that allow streamers to use their music. That's the whole point of Pretzel Rock, right? And so if I'm getting mutes, if I'm being muted by Facebook, then, you know, that completely inhibits, like, the one big way in which I can, you know, grow live and grow my stream and grow my store. And... It's now playing Sombrero, Sombrero by Popsky. So, I don't know what's going on with that, but, uh, might be one of those, uh, have to put, uh, or have to get my complaint emails ready to go, because this is something I, that came with a paid service, right? So, it's like, if I'm not getting, I'm not going to pay for something that mutes me, you know what I mean? And it is not the first time it's happened, but. Like sometimes you get a takedown notice from Facebook or YouTube. I have yet to receive anything from Twitch, and so I think that. Uh, the, the software I'm using is Streamlabs OBS. So, and their their boast or their their claim to fame is that you can multi-stream to multiple different platforms, right? So, like if that's not happening, then I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'm not that concerned about it. I'm more concerned about taking time to get work done. What am I making? I'm making a full Persian chain using rings, machine cut, stainless steel, 20 gauge, I don't know the diameter, whatever the next size up is from 20 gauge 1 8th. Like, that's like, mm, no, it's a quarter inch. No, I don't remember the size. The next size diameter up from 20 gauge 1 8th that TRL sells. Uh, so, and we're gonna, I'm gonna make one big long chain. I have a lot of rings of this size, right? And it's just going to continuously get longer and longer and longer. I can't use this ring size for jewelry because they're machine cut. So, we're gonna turn it into a wall art piece. I have a 14 inch hoop over here. Yep. This is the hoop, right? And we're gonna wrap the hoop in like round mail or box chain or something. Then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna do some kind of fancy uh, like not work all throughout the hoop. That's the goal. Eventually, this will. Let me, let me show you. I have one. I can never remember the name of this company. What is this called? Um, the Go Meats Lunch Meat Company. All right, so I have one of these, full of all these rings. That's ideally how long we're gonna make the chain. And then I'm gonna go read up on some kind of knot work or something like a Turkish knot inside the hoop and connect it to the edges. Ideally all using one chain, right? That's the goal. Will it work? I don't know. Some of the stuff I have attempted in the past has worked out to my benefit. Um, Not all of it, 
we we may just end up making like a 42 foot full Persian chain that we can't use. I don't know. We'll get to find out together there. That's the fun part. So, Hillshire Farms, go meets. Thank you. They're pretty good for ring storage when when you're in a pinch. I had a bunch of rings in bags, like the bags they came in, but they hadn't been used in years, and they've been moved around a lot, and the bags were starting to starting to fail. So. I had to move them to something a little more stable. I am just working on this tonight because I wanted a small, easy to manipulate ring gauge to work with after last night's fiasco. It was uh, by the end of an hour last night. I mean, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to stream tonight, much less use, much less use my wrist today. So, but we're doing okay now. I wore my wrist brace most of the day. Haven't been work on haven't been able to work on anything for a while, you lost your mojo. Right, you know. I have had that happen to me. And honestly, you know, it's just it's best to just go off and find something else to do for a while until it comes back to you. Right. I probably have uh forty different projects sitting next to me that um, I'd like to get to eventually. And it's just like, yeah, let me make this full Persian chain for a while. <coughs> Rarely ever do I want to go do housework rather than make chain mail. That, you know, that has been a surprising finding in my research. Start things and lose interest before you finish them? Yeah. Yup. Just, you know, walk away. It's like, burnout is a real thing. And chain mail is tedious. And it makes your body hurt. And it's time consuming. And the end product is great, right? But the thing about satisfaction, right? that with satisfaction, right, you're generally, satisfaction is a fleeting feeling, right? Like you're satisfied when you're working on a project. As soon as you're done, like yeah, you, you feel good about that project for a little bit. And so you might have some pride in that project that sticks around for a while, but the satisfaction or the happiness that you derive from that project fades. Right, because what was m typically making you happy was like the work on the project, like the expectation of what it was going to look like, you know. And if if you're if you're not getting that sense of accomplishment from it, you know, it's like it's best to just take a step back, do something else for a little while, and it doesn't, you know. There is, there is no harm in stepping away from a project. Rick has had, had that happen many times himself. All right, yeah. Oh, me too. There was a long period of time where, from when 
I started making chain mail, I started really getting into it, and then like nothing for a really long time. So I tried to make the breaks in between. Shorter and shorter. That way I don't have projects built up like I do now where I have, you know, a couple hundred thousand rings and need to get woven into a project. Um, so. Just laying around taking up space, you know? And this is, this is my first, like, artistic piece, right? Like, I've done bottle wraps, coffee cup wraps, belts, guitar straps, necklaces, bracelets, a couple of earrings here and there, you know, I've made a bunch of different stuff, a couple of inlays. I've never done, I've never done any type other type of three dimensional structure besides this one cube that I've made, right? So I really consider my goal with this as a piece of, you know, wall art that is that is standalone by itself, a piece of chainmail wall art, right? Like it's not an inlay, it doesn't have any color, it's just a weave it's just a chain right so like, I get a lot of satisfaction out of just working on it. And it you know despite its tediousness despite that these rings are getting to the well not these rings despite that my eyes are getting to the point where I'm going to need some kind of magnifying apparatus here pretty soon or better lighting. I could also go with better lighting. So. And hopefully. Alright, so here here, let me get back to my point, right? Like I've made all these different kind of aspects of chainmail or things you can make with chainmail, right? And you know, they're cool, and I have them all like lined up on my windowsill. It extends the length of my basement right I've got an English basement over here so I have I have four windows and in front of the windows is like a six inch ledge running all the way down the basement I've got half of it stacked up with stuff I've made with chain mail right and it's cool I feel a sense of accomplishment from it but, you know, a lot of times when people come down, like, oh, wow, you made this. And I'm just like, that was years ago. That's nothing, you know, like that sense of accomplishment or that satisfaction from having done it fades, you know. So I'm hoping that I'll put this up on my wall and I'll just be really happy with it for a really long time because it's an art piece made with my art, you know. So, if you're not, if you're not getting the satisfaction, that that dopamine kick from what you're doing, you know. If you find yourself where you can't finish something, take a break, walk away. It's probably. You know, you're not you're not gonna get in trouble if that piece isn't finished, unless unless it's a commission. Now commissions are completely different animals. I'm talking about just stuff you just make just to make it, you know. Like a lot of my projects sat around for ten years. No one was ever harmed by them not being done. There were no bad consequences from them just sitting down here, aside from them taking up space. Oh. All 
I like to... I used to like to stop what I was doing and go read books. That was a good alternative. But I don't read anymore. That's all you can do? Yeah. Now I get it. Like, I don't read anymore almost at all. I got desperate and I tried to get all the books I wanted to read and or reread up on my nightstand. And they've just sat there collecting dust and I've lost any interest in picking any of them up. Oh, Justin Marburg has liked the stream. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate it, buddy. Likes, hearts, and shares go a long way in helping me grow the stream. If you want to help me uh, cover the world in chain mail, you know, by showing people that you can make chain mail, please like and share the stream. Like now, I don't I don't read. I make chain mail and I go to work and family stuff, right? I, oh my gosh! Okay, okay, <laughs> guys. Okay, so a while back, let me see if I can find this. Oh my shoulder. Um. A while back, there was someone, excuse me, who posted a leather stamp in uh, like the main chainmail forum. Right? Ah, uh, you can't see crap on that camera. All right. Can't see much better on this, but you can kind of get an idea. Like this half moon shape kind of stamp, right? And I, I only played around with it a little bit, right? And it's it's totally a chainmail leather stamp, right? Like, I gotta I gotta practice with it some more, but I'm definitely gonna be making some chainmail themed leather stamp stuff in the future, right? This is like what all of my hopes and dreams are made of right here. This is everything I ever wanted in a leather stamp. <laughs> Oh, I was I was ridiculously happy to receive this in the mail so as soon as I get a chance I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna stamp out something make a project of some kind just all leather stamped chain chain mail stamped leather yeah I think it's what I'm looking for Noun, verb, adverb, no. It is badass, right? Go look at it. See how close we get. You guys see that? You can see like my tool marks where I jacked it up, right? My kid was playing with this piece. <sighs> anyway, like someone posted it in the chainmail group, and I have never bought anything offline or online so fast. You want one now? That is totally badass. It is. It's cool. You should totally get one. I have no idea like what the link is or where I got it from. Um, if you ask me tomorrow to look it up, I will. But it's probably not going to happen tonight, and I, while I should be a responsible streamer and post a link in the comments, um, I will probably forget. Just so you know. Remind me about it, and I will get you the information. It's on my Etsy. It, okay, we have this information saved of where I got it from on my Etsy, right? Hmm. Purchases, yeah. Uh, the Etsy site is called Leather Stamp Tools. Let's see here. Hang on. Uh, just... Why don't do that? 
Um. Uh, where's the copy link button? Bear with. Share as link. Oh, that's all. That's all. Um. Let's quick share do. Nope. Oh, no, I don't want. Okay, hang on. We'll just do this news feed. Does anybody else want me to tag them in this? Okay. Searching, searching, searching. Okay. I'm just going to tag Rick. All right. So I just posted the link to the store. gonna have to go through if you can't find it let me know and I will look deeper for you to uh, I will search further for you tomorrow um, Barb uh, I got a, a leather stamp in the mail that makes chain mail patterns you can kind of see my tool work needs some work but a little more practice and I'll have some really good stuff going I tagged Rick. Ow. It's not fr I there. It's from Bulgaria, okay? And I paid for like expedited shipping and I got it within like a week and a half. It was very fast. Right. So It's a real company. They do deliver I'm, I'm very happy with that purchase. What are we listening to? Skip this crap. No, I don't want lullabies. That's like from one extreme to the next, you know? I am going to sell your soul to Satan. Da, da. To Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Right. I don't know how, how you go from one end of the music spectrum to the other. Like, how do you go from screaming death metal to lullabies anyway so yeah super cool chain mail stamp yes sir yes sir two bags full yeah big swing the music you're feeling sleepy peg never mind you're better now after that music came on yeah I'll wake you up almost hurts wait I don't know I have a lot of friends who really like that style of uh, music and I can't ever tell what people are saying in songs anyway, so like the the poetry of the lyrics don't matter to me at all because I don't care because I don't I can't ever understand them, right? So Yeah, you know, I'll let I'll I'm more than willing to let people like stuff. I'm not gonna bash what other people enjoy. I'm just gonna be honest and admit that I don't get it. Is there a stamp number on the stamp? Uh, no. Uh, let's see here. I got stamp number 400. Beaten hauberk. Beaten like you, I don't know, 
have beaten someone at a chess game and Hubbard, H-A-U-B-E-R-K. Gotten stuck into transfer music lately, some really weird stuff. Transfer music. Is that like the new Gregorian chant for 2021? I don't know what transfer music is, to be quite honest. I don't know a lot about music. There's certain people in my life whose names shall remain unnamed um, who give me a ton of crap when there's this song. And I've probably heard this song like 5,000 billion times. I have no idea who sang it, what the lyrics are, who the name of the band members are. It never once crossed my mind to ask that question. I'm not, I'm not a curious person. Somebody wanted it, found it. Oh, thanks for linking that link. No, it's Electronica. Your favorite band right now is Infected Mushroom. Like that, I don't, you know? I love mushrooms. But, you know, I've, I have never heard of that band. I don't know what city they're from. Like there is, there there was one band. It was a, my friend's band. My actually, it was my friend's husband's band. And I went out to Portland to hang out with them for a little bit, a couple years ago, and saw them perform and everything. And we had a good time and whatnot. And I know the lead singer of that band because he's my friend. Or more accurately, he is. Well, he is he is my friend, but he is also my friend's husband. So. And I know James Hetfield, lead singer of Metallica. <laughs> like, that's, that's it. That's my musical knowledge. You know, you want me to sing all the songs to the sound of music? Sure, fine. You ask me who Julia Andrews is. Yeah, got it, you know. Any song that plays on the radio station? Uh, no clue. None whatsoever. Did Andrew Lloyd Webber write it? Yeah, you know, I'm probably familiar. Classical piece? Maybe. Good chance I'm, you know, Bach, Mozart, Chopin, Beethoven. Sure, maybe. But... Any popular songs played on the radio since like 1965? Yeah, I got no clue, man. Um, what's that song? I do know one one other song. There, Israeli. If you love to look him up, good album to look at is Legend of the Black Black Sh Legend of the Black Shawarma. Interesting. Like, I have one station on my Pandora, which is just this Builders and the Butchers band that plays, like, some bluegrass music, and I just listen to that all the time. <laughs> have a good night, Barb. Oh, that's Barb. My comments are behind my camera, right? So if uh, I don't respond to you, it's because I haven't figured out how to take the comments and move them to the other side of the screen where they're over here where my camera is not. So, like you see me like ducking behind here. What are people saying in the comments, man? You ordered the stamp, Rick? Nice. Uh, I am familiar with Imagine Dragons. I re listen to a few things by them but don't ask me the names of the singers or like what city they're from or to name a song played by them and I don't I don't add stuff to my Pandora I just listen to that one band and whatever like comes up on that channel right like this weird band I started listening to one time and I just haven't changed my Pandora since 
I have other people on there. Like, I, you know, I know who Jack White is. He plays a bunch of stuff I like. There, my point is, is that there really are a few number of uh, musicians and or bands who I can name and or recognize on any given, you know, any moment's notice. Now we're cruising along here. Where are we at? Time is it 9.51? Ooh. Time flies when you're having fun. Going for here for a bit more. So I have decided that I am not a uh a driving maximalist, right? Or a driver's license maximalist. Like, I don't believe that anyone and everyone should be giving a given a driver's license anymore, right? Because um, I'm I'm driving a lot lately, several several hundred miles a week, right? And I wasn't even in my work car. I was at the gas station in. Uh, Renee's car And I go to I go to pull out and this lady pulling out Like here's my car. Here's an empty space. Here's her van, right? And so we're pulling out the same time to go This this way the same direction, right? And I hadn't noticed that she was leaving um, But she starts honking her horn furiously as if I, you know, had just run over a small child. So I'm like panicking, freaking out, wondering what's going on, and figure out that oh, it was because we were pulling up at the same time, and she thought she should be first, maybe I don't know. Um, so I continued to go in reverse and give myself some room because I was like 12 feet away from her vehicle. So maybe she had a depth perception issue. She did have some glasses on, but like the furious honking was incredibly unnecessary. Just based on how far apart our vehicles were. And then this morning, driving out, I have to drive through a giant construction zone on the way out to Lake Geneva. And I had a Mack truck, a dump truck, like, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's similar to the diesels, um, or the big, the big tractor trailers that they have, um, as far as like the, as far as the engines go. But instead of a trailer on the back of this truck, it was a dump truck. Uh, and they were filling up dump trucks with debris and concrete and all kinds of stuff. Sounds like he ran afoul of a Karen. Yeah, I ran. I just don't like it was her prerogative to go first or something. So we can we can both pull out of the parking spot at the same time and you know, not get any closer than the 12 feet that currently separate us. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, on my drive out to Lake Geneva, this uh, Mac concrete, no, Mac uh, dump truck was much closer than 10 feet to me. Right, and we're doing 45, 50 miles an hour, the construction zone speed. Uh, and this guy was right up on my bumper. This is one of those where if I had had you know, to stop for any reason, 
like the dump truck's going to come over my vehicle and that would be the end of me and I there was no one behind him I don't know if he was in a rush or something or trying to prompt me forward um, because there's a car in front of me and I couldn't go any faster than what I was already going right so I don't know but I am uh, I just don't think everyone's built for driving is all I'm trying to say maybe the test for driving should be especially if you're driving a Mack truck should be a little bit stricter so I couldn't get like a number uh, off the truck because he turned turned behind me before um, I had a chance to see anything because I'm more than willing to call on something like that I don't get nervous when I drive I typically drive an F-150 and I you know give the big uh, Peterbilts and the Max and all the trucks hauling all the all the goods and services to and from around you know I give truckers a wide berth no issue with that I don't have any issue driving around them you know but when you're in that kind of truck and you have that kind of cargo where you, know, you probably have a couple tons worth of rock debris and concrete in the back and there's not going to be any kind of way you can stop in the six and a half seven maybe eight feet between your bumper and mine yeah you know Maybe I should make a phone call about that. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm being squeamish about the situation just cause I'm in a tiny little Nissan. And I think that they were too close going too fast. You know? Could be wrong. Maybe from the outside looking in, there's a different perspective on how they were driving, but I kid, I couldn't see it from where I was sitting. Know what I mean? Where are we? Anyway, where are we at here? All right. Oh, hey, what? So yeah, that's a cool little stamp here. The link, Rick posted the link. Get to make like, you get a chainmail leather stamp, themed leather. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We've got. We got some more rings from uh, chain hyphen reaction .ca in Reaction Canada to work on uh, our little Japanese cube here. All right. And I'm not I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to finish this dice bag before we have run out of rings. We'll see. And we'll get back to that in a little bit. This this uh, this ring size, the pliers I was using on it were, what do you call it? You know, like flat nose pliers, a smooth jawed flat nose pliers that I just couldn't like get a good grip on. I, it ended up really hurting my wrist last night. So, but I don't want to scratch up the aluminum, right? Because it's so so shiny and so glittery and pretty. This is for this project right here that we're working on. Little Elf Weave Expansion Coffee Cup Wrap thingamajig that we're doing. So we've got all of that coming up. And more 
full Persian chain, knot work, wall art, 14 inch hoop. Hybrid kind of, I don't know, hybrid thingy going on here. I don't know. I think it's going to be cool somehow. Right? If I can figure out. A lot of it's going to depend on the tension of the full Persian when it bends, right? As to what knots can be made out of it. So, cool. Make it as long as we can. And uh, figure that out as we go along. You know? Gonna head on out. Alright, Rick, have a good night. Good to see everyone. I do appreciate y'all being here for me. Coming to watch me get some work done. Even if I had to take it easy tonight. And I tell you what. Um, please do go check out the Booga Box. And uh, he had a stream up tonight. Go give him a like. Show him a bit of love. Please do like and share the stream. And go check out mailworks.com for all your chainmail themed apparel and accessory needs. And we Oh, and if you're if you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, hit hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um anything you can do to help me grow the stream, I do appreciate it. You know, um We've only been back for two days now, and it's been really good to see all of you. So I will see you tomorrow night, and if not tomorrow night, then at the latest, what's today? At the latest Friday. All right? You guys all have a wonderful night. I will